So we are ready, almost ready to, to leave for our road trip. We're gonna go east um, into heading to the direction of Lillehammer. Rob and I, we haven't been to this area yet, so we both are very excited to explore um, yeah, the east a little bit more. Um, it's definitely gonna be snowy. We try to fix our um, heater in the van before leaving, but <laughs> Uh, it was not possible, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit chilly at night, um, but we both have really good sleeping bags and um, yeah, and perhaps we're gonna sleep in a one night in the tent anyway, um, <laughs> we will see. We also booked um, two very nice accommodations, um, yeah, and so we have a mix of yeah van life and um, yeah, two nice farm places where we will stay for a couple of nights. Yeah, so we just got the house ready, so all the Christmas decoration is gone and um, yeah, we are ready to go. We're just enjoying now one last coffee here and then it's time to hit the road. We spent our first night on our travel in Aulandswangen. I really like this area and I can spend hours watching the clouds, hugging the mountains. The surroundings are changing with every cloud that travels by and sometimes everything is just covered in one big cloud. In these conditions nothing seems the same and nature decides what is presented to you. As further we drove east, as more snow was passing by on our windscreen, until we ended up in a real winter wonderland. Excited knowing that the snow will now stay with us as long as we will stay in this area. We celebrated into New Year's at a little parking place of an area for cross-country ski. Luckily, there was even a little heated cabin that we were able to use. <laughs> Not a big surprise, but the nights in the van were quite cold. Even Jacques was having his own sleeping bag. After another ski session, we continued east. The winter landscape passed our windshields and we enjoyed every second of our drive.
We started the first day of the year by settling into a small cabin on a beautiful farm in Gaustal. I can really recommend this place. We really enjoyed the comfort of a cozy little home and the warming wood stove. Our view out of the window. And of course the fresh sourdough bread that we were able to order for the next morning. That day, we had a magical time in the snow. As we experienced a pure quietness, I thought about silence, how important and valuable it has become for me to have those quiet moments. To switch off the world around me, Over a year ago I was suffering from a persistent noise in one of my ears. While I don't know exactly what caused it, I truly believe it was stress, even positive stress, a hectic lifestyle and not enough time to take a break and to breathe. I am so glad that I found my way back into complete silence without any disturbing noise in my ears. I was shocked finding out how many people were suffering with similar problems. And I truly believe it is often connected to our busy, technologically driven lifestyle. Listening to what my body and my mind needs. More time in nature. Movement and mindful exercises were definitely helping me to recover and helped me to find a completely new form of silence inside me. Back in the cabin, we looked forward to get a good rest, knowing that tomorrow will be an early start and an exciting day ahead. But more on that in my next video.